Subic, officially the municipality of Subic, is a first-class municipality in the province of Zambales, Philippines. According to the 2015 census, it has a population of 104,771 people. It is located along the northern coast of Subic Bay. Like Iba, the provincial capital, and neighboring Ilongapo City, Subic is a fast-growing municipality town and is expected to become a component city in the future, as well as increase in income. It is a former home of one of the largest U.S. military facilities outside of the U.S. mainland, the Subic Bay Naval Base. Etymology The native Zambales inhabitants called the area Hubic, which means, head of a plow. Spanish missionary priests mispronounced the name as Subic. By the time of the American occupation, Subic was mispronounced as Subic. Eventually, the name reverted to Subic, but the letter Q was replaced with letter C. History In 1572, Juan de Salcedo, the Mexico born Spanish conquistador and grandson of Miguel Lopez de Legazpi, founded Zambales during his exploration of northern Luzon. Subic was founded in the late 1607 when Augustinian friars headed by Rev. Fr. Rodrigo de San Miguel, this year started that the natives in Subic especially Negritos and Aetis was Christianized under the rule of Spain. Spanish period In September 1762, the British invaded the Philippines and took over the Spanish main naval base in Manila Bay. This prompted the Spanish military to scout for the next promising naval station. The expedition returned with the good news for the naval command, a natural bounty and deep waters at Subic Bay. King Alfonso XII issued a decree in 1884 that declared Subic as a naval port and the property appertaining thereto set aside for naval purposes. Construction of an arsenal and ship repair yard ensued March 8 the following year, as ordered by the new settlers. Naval Commission, Subic Bay. S. Potential as naval station was realized by the Americans. Commodore George Dewey and his men engaged in a battle that destroyed the Spanish Army in 1898, and the Americans took over Subic Bay on December 10, 1899. American period In 1902, Rear Admiral Robley D. Evans, commander of the Asiatic Stations, directed 200 Marines for an expeditionary force for the first U.S. fleet exercise in Asian waters. Guns were erected on Grande Island and Admiral Evans laid plans for emergency repairs of the station at Subic Bay but was denied assistance by the U.S. Five years later, the U.S. Congress finally appropriated funds for a full-scale Subic Bay naval reservation. Words from then-President Theodore Roosevelt goes, if we are to exert the slightest influence in Western Asia, it is of the highest importance that we have a naval station in Boto Bay. Subic Bay is now on the rise of being one of the best training areas in the Corps. But with the U.S.-Japan tension heating up, appropriations for operation and maintenance of the base fell short. Hawaii came in the scene, funding of the development of Pearl Harbor as U.S. main station in the Pacific earned the thumbs up of the Congress. Subic took its ill fate, a promising harbor was left as a small repair station. World War I U.S. was drawn into the war in Europe, Filipinos and Americans worked hand in hand to prepare the battleships for World War I workers at Subic Bay also overhauled 26 German ships, that had been used to transport thousands of American troops to Europe. Likewise, this period gave way for different developments, Alangapo had a taste of some of its best years, the base was lined with trees and plants, and several recreational facilities were constructed. World War II the Japanese claimed Subic and Ilongapo on January 10, 1942, days after the Pearl Harbor attack, bringing with them the devastation of World War II. Many Filipinos and Americans were killed, several buildings were destroyed, seven seaplanes were sunk, and lines of telephones and telegraphs were sabotaged. The Marines were ordered to withdraw into Bataan then soon to Corregidor, burning all buildings left standing after the Japanese attack. Filipinos torched all the war's ruins in Ilongapo. 
Filipinos have been subjected to the cruelty of the Japanese for three years, after which the American made a forceful rebound and reoccupied the base on January 29, 1945. The Marine Station underwent massive reconstruction and was again ready for naval endeavors on September 26, 1945. Shortly after the Marines resumed their duties, the Tidings McDuffie Law set provision for Philippine independence and was granted on July 4, 1946. Nonetheless, the U.S. maintained that it would still retain the country's military bases. The Philippines, acknowledging its frailty in the Cold War, entered into the RP-U.S. Military Bases Agreement on March 14, 1947. The U.S. was granted the right to retain 16 military bases and to administrate the town of Alangapo. Several significant urbanization projects were orchestrated, but the most challenging was as gigantic as displacing half the part of a 1,200-foot mountain, that needed around 20 million man-hours, and required five years of labor. The exceptional air station and pier construction of the Seabees was the highlight of 1956 in Subic Bay. Another accomplishment at the height of the Cold War was ammunition bunkers and buildings that occupied over 12,400 acres of the southwestern part of Subic Bay. Set in the tropical rainforest, ammunition and ordnance from these facilities played a big role in the Vietnam War and in the Gulf War of 1991. The original 1947 military pact between the Philippines and the U.S. has been amended. The year 1979 witnessed a turning point for both countries. Philippines claimed a sovereign rule over the base, and the U.S. area of responsibility was reduced from 24,000 hectares to 6,300 hectares. What followed was a series of events that would change the course of Subic Bay forever. On June 15, 1991, volcanic ashes and debris rained over the base, devastating Subic Bay and neighboring provinces. Mount Pinatubo's fury has left the U.S. Navy and Air Force no option but to evacuate all their dependents. When Pinatubo S. Rage came to a halt, and American and Filipino personnel restored the base, bringing it back to business in no time. Uncertainty continued hovering the Philippine Senate with regard to the termination of the 1947 treaty. Months-long discussions were held, parliamentary proceedings were organized, and a pro-bases rally was staged, but to no avail. September 16, 1991 surfaced a conclusion, the U.S. had to withdraw its forces and equipment from Clark and Subic, having received the rejection of 12 senators on the earlier proposed new treaty. The lowering of the Stars and Stripes followed suit. The Navy bid farewell to America's nine decades of military presence on Philippine soil. Post-Cold War Surprisingly the departure of the Americans did not spell doom. Subic has since been transformed and became a model for bases conversion into commercial use after the Cold War with blue-chip companies like Coastal Petroleum, Enron and FedEx pumping in over $3 billion of investments creating 70,000 jobs in the free port's first four years. It was host to the fourth APEC leaders. Summit on November 24, 1996 and FedEx's Asia-Pacific hub, Asia One, was also located in Subic Bay for almost 10 years. In addition to commercial use, Subic Bay is also a popular destination for weekend visitors from Metro Manila. Attractions include several beaches, an underwater aquarium, jungle survival tours, racing and duty-free shopping centers. Both Subic Bay Freeport and the municipality itself sustain major improvement and continuing its growth as of today. Climate Education Elementary Private College of Subic Montessori St. Columban College St. Francis Learning Center St. Anne School of Subic Public Subic Central School Ilwas Integrated School Matin Elementary School Josephine F. Konghun Special Education Center San Isidro Elementary School Nogsal Elementary School Mangan Vaca Elementary School Batiawan Elementary School 
Najantak Elementary School Santo Tomas Elementary School Agasuhan Elementary School Kalapakuan Elementary School Kalapandayan Elementary School High School Private College of Subic Montessori St. James School St. Anthony's School Public Subic National High School Ilwas Integrated School Josephine F. Konghun Special Education Center Najantak National High School Santo Tomas National High School College College of Subic Montessori Best Freeport College Metro Subic College Kolio ng Subic Public College Most of private schools are operated by Catholic institution except for colleges. Demographics in the 2015 census, the population of Subic was 104,771 people, with a density of 360 inhabitants per square kilometer or 930 inhabitants per square mile. Infrastructure Transportation Airport the nearest airport is the Subic Bay International Airport which is 30 minutes away from town itself. Seaport The port of Subic is the nearest seaport in Subic. The port is operated and managed by the Subic Bay Metropolitan Authority SBMA. It covers the fenced area of the former U.S. Naval Base Subic Bay located in the southwest of Luzon Island in the Philippines surrounded by the municipality of Subic and Alangapo City in Zambales, and Hermosa and Morong in Bataan. Local fish port is also present at the coastal waters and some are in beach side. Roads the primary road that connects Subic to the other parts of the town is the Alangapo Bugalan Road. Most of the names of those streets based on the surnames of prominent residents and based on plant's name. Most of the roads in Subic are made of concrete and asphalt while others are still dirts. Diversion road like Govic Highway are also commonly used by motorists from Barangay Matan to Barangay Mongahan. The purpose of this road is to lessen the traffic at the town proper and used by trucks especially going north of Castilejos and vice versa. Another main road is the Filseco Road that ends from Barangay Asinan proper down to Kepal Subic Shipyard formerly Philippine Shipyard and Engineering Corporations, and Govic Highway Extension that ends from Castilejos down to Hanjan Shipyard which they exclusively used. Bus Terminals Victory Liner and Filtranco are the leading bus operators in Subic which transports people in and out of the town itself especially going to Manila, while local cooperative run buses are also present to transport in neighboring towns in the province. Access to the town Subic is accessible through the Alangapo Bugalan Road Highway from Alangapo City. The Alangapo Bugalan cuts through the town proper and goes through north up to neighboring town of Castilejos, Zambales, and the rest of the towns in Zambales up to Pangasinan Province. Public utilities Electricity Electricity services were provided by the cooperative run Zambales 2 Electric Cooperative, Inc. ZAMECO2, which covers its franchise areas from Subic all the way to Kabangan since 1972. Water Water services are provided by Subic Water District SWD, not to be confused with Subic Water and Sewerage Company, Subic Water, which is a different water distribution company serving the neighboring city of Alangapo. Communication 
Leading mobile and land-based telecommunications companies in the Philippines such as Philippine Long Distance Telephone Company PLDT, Globe Telecom, Smart Communications and Sun Cellular are available in the town especially in the town proper. The town is services with 3G, 4G, and LTE networks. Internet connectivity the majority of the country's internet service providers are available in town, MicaTV Internet Connection, Local, Smart Broadband, Globe Tattoo, and PLDT MYDSL. They provide internet services through wireless mobile data, cable, DSL and broadband technologies. Cable television the only cable operator serves in Subic is MicaTV which is owned and operated by Asian Vision Cable Holdings Inc. Major satellite dish televisions such as Signal, Sky Direct, and GSAT were also present. Local government Barangays Subic is politically subdivided into 16 barangays. Mayors This is the complete list of municipal leaders such as mayor, and Presidente Municipal since it was become municipality since 1902 For list of mayors in Alangapo. See Alangapo. Tourism there is a great deal of confusion in the tourism industry and in people's minds in general concerning Subic, Zambales. Subic Town sits at the north end of Subic Bay and is located about 10 km north of the Subic Bay Freeport Zone. Subic Town has few beach resorts and currently no casinos. The Subic Bay Freeport Zone is on the former site of the U.S. Subic Naval Base, and is host to many tourist attractions which include casinos, beaches, diving, snorkeling, parks, beachside huts and cottages and historical artifacts. The Freeport is right next to Alangapo City, which was administered by the U.S. Naval Base Commander back in the 1950s, separated only by a moat constructed by the U.S. Navy. Many locals call the Freeport as SBMA. Short for Subic Bay Metropolitan Authority, which is the administrative body of the Freeport. Beside the Freeport, Alangapo City, formerly a part of Subic Municipality, is directly accessible to and from the Freeport, unlike Subic Town which is 25 minutes away by motor vehicle. Still, visitors usually confuse Subic Town with Subic Freeport. See also Subic Bay Freeport Zone Port of Subic References External links Subic Municipal Government The official tourism website for the Subic Bay Area, contains visitor and accommodation information authorized by SBMA. Subic Bay Travel and Dive Guide Philippine Standard Geographic Code Photos of Alangapo, Barrio Barreto and Baloy Beach Road